appreciate the speaker. Mr. Speaker, what do we know with certainty about the bill which passed the Senate? We know it has bipartisan support, and that's encouraging. I'm a Republican who's been making the case that revenues must rise. That bill does that, and if it becomes law, it provides some certainty to our tax code, which would surely help our economy. Yet, Mr. Speaker, we also know with certainty that it fails to address the mortal threat facing our country, uncontrolled spending. It fails to reflect the balanced approach that was advocated by our President. So we find ourselves again with a bill that reflects not financial wisdom, but the seductive spirit that pervades this town. The time to confront our spending addiction is not now, it's later, they say. We'll do the right thing then. Lacking knowledge, political courage, or both, leaders in Washington continue to overpromise. They're like salespeople who tell their customer they can have the $30,000 car, but only pay $18,000 for it. Who doesn't like that deal? But the truth, Mr. Speaker, what we know with certainty is that the full cost indeed will be paid by their children, the next generation of Americans. There's a better way forward, Mr. Speaker. We're Americans. Let's find it. I yield back. This has been a Sunfish production.